Now, the much-anticipated and in-demand DSTV Delicious Festival returns on the 23rd and 24th of September for the 2023 offering. The ultimate food and music experience will host thousands of patrons at the Kyalami Grand Prix Circuit in Johannesburg. Now, this year's event will see American soul and R&B sensations uh, taking center stage on the first day with artists, uh, uh, local artists such as Zakes Bantwini and Nigerian superstar Thames and many others. Tell us more about what we can expect from this year's festival. We're joined now by DSTV Delicious Festival uh, Media Director Nuktula Munaheng. A very good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you so much. It's, um, you know, looking at uh, some of the experiences uh, at the DSTV Delicious Festival last year, I mean, it really, uh, people weren't impressed. There was a lot of dysfunctionality, overcrowding. Some people even pickpocketed in, in queues as right. they waited. What can we expect this time around? I think this year we were a lot more prepared. Remember, last year was a year where we, it was the first time that we're coming back from COVID. So um, 2019, we had about 700 e-hailing services that came on. And I think last year we just were not as prepared for it. Mm -hmm. um, but, but then the difference with last year was that there were 7,000 e-hailing services per day, yeah. which we were not prepared for. So this year we are absolutely prepared for. So the e-hailing services and um, uh, trafficking is going to be a lot better. Mm -hmm. Traffic <laughs> is going to be a lot better, yeah. number one. Uh, from bar frontage, it's going to be a lot better. Ticketing services is going to be a lot better this year. We've partnered with Ticketmaster, and um, they promised and we promised to have this year be a more exceptional and comfortable experience for everybody. So, yeah. The artist lineup looks pretty exciting, right? right? <laughs> How were the artists chosen? So the artists were chosen um, by the fact that you know, Delicious over the years has always been a, a, a festival where we always like want to go back to, you know, back in the days type of like have that throwback type of feel. And so this year we wanted to go back to our roots, particularly because it's 10 years, it's our 10 year anniversary. So we've brought a little bit of, you know, the, the old school music that we used to have. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we've brought back your incognitos and your arrested development. However, we've also brought in some new people like our Maxwell, um, Thames this year, and of course our very own Zex Bandrini, who's actually headlining on Saturday. So, yeah. yeah. So, so there's a lot of excitement. Ten years, I mean, that's, that's an amazing highlight. I think I remember uh, going to, to one of the festivals uh, right. maybe, maybe eight years ago. Oh, wow. And um, <laughs> looking at um, the vendors, the food, and how um, that in itself has really changed quite drastically in terms okay. of what people are eating, how yeah. people are eating it, what can we expect? Um, so this year... As, as last year, we have partnered with Proudly South African, and um, you know, Proudly South African always want to put front all the entrepreneurs who have their own restaurants and stuff like that. So we've partnered with them, and they're going to be on board, uh, bringing on their food vendors, and and so there'll be a lot of um, different tastes that will be there. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, over the ten-year period, what would you say are some of the highlights? Sure so much i think over the 10 years we've had so many different um what is it like genres and 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 artists that have been there from your jamara Kwais to your erica badus to your mosquitoes and all of that um i mean every single year brought something special and so at, at, yeah man there's been so much but i think the beauty of having international people coming into our South African soil uh, just to celebrate the sound, you know, the different sounds, the music, and uh, the heritage weekend. So, yeah, that's been one of and the And how, how important is that? I mean, over a, a decade long yeah. uh, showcasing the, the best of South Africa, um, how significant is this uh, festival, especially going uh, into, into the next decade even and looking at some of the plans? Um, around showcasing the country and its um, light and culture? <laughs> I think it's very important, um, particularly because it is an international festival that was initially established in South Africa. And, I mean, coming in the next 10 years, we're actually looking at going internationally, so not necessarily bringing international people here, but taking people from here and taking them international. So we're looking at going into different countries and possibly different continents and stuff. So um, it is very significant. Um, and um, I think more, even more significant is the fact that we've, 
we've uh, decided to have it over a heritage weekend yeah. and it's become part of our heritage you know it's become part of the celebration of South Africa so yeah yeah and, and also just uh, perhaps looking at um, uh, the importance of incorporating proudly South Africa yeah. its heritage month as well and also showcasing the culture of South Africa um, that in itself uh, how are you hoping to expand that and take it internationally um, so we have um, already started being in talks and creating relationships with people outside of South Africa as in the different countries and stuff like that uh, they're so happy and ex excited about this new journey that we're going on um, so it's going to be a really great one. Mm. Yeah. You spoke earlier about the impact of COVID-19, um, especially looking at some of the glitches that were experienced last year. Um, what has it taken to, to um, get back into it and ensure that it continues to be a, as exciting and as fun and colorful as it has been in previous years? I think understanding our crowd was one of the things. Mm -hmm. um, just being cognizant of what is it that people like and i think we've we've learned a lot about people actually love that whole old school thing that we had back in the years and whatever and so we did a lot of research before coming back again this year to say okay what is it that people actually enjoy you know so um one of the things that has really helped us was listening to the people and what they want and yeah. prefer and love yeah. yeah very important yeah and in terms of uh, of trends what have you noted over the years as as some of the trends that continue to to really um, emerge during during the the, the festival um, food yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's all the same but it's all it's always different mm -hmm. you know um, our people love our food um, the the creativity of like the dressing the fashion the music um, the sound of the music um, it's all like they just just the sound yeah um, all the uh, how do I call it um, oh, words I'm losing words here I mean look Ama Piano um, has taken center stage in terms of genre right um, and and you speak about old school which 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 is amazing because yeah. it reminds people you know, there's a lot of memory and, and feelings attached to it uh, I also see that Oskido is also coming back um, this year and this he time is, around Yes, he is. So with the, with the Ama Piano, obviously that's a new sound. Yeah. It's a South African sound. It's a sound that a lot of people love. So what we've done is the dance stage, the drip dance stage, mm -hmm. is specifically for Ama Piano. Uh, this year, actually, headlining the Ama Piano on Saturday would be the Scorpion Kings, which is um, Porisa and Gats of the Small. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, we've got DJs and, and friends. So Scorpion Kings on Saturday with friends, and then on Sunday is DJs and, and friends. And joyous celebration, I understand. Joyous also celebration will be on this year. So that's going to be beautiful. Um, we've got Incognito as well, Arrested Development, like I mentioned. So there's going to be a lot of um, beautiful sounds and excitement. There's actually excitement all over all our platforms as we look. It's like... Yeah, people are really excited and so are we. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for coming in studio and talking to us about the DSTV Delicious Festival that, uh, of course, the media director, Noctula Munaheng, is speaking about the exciting event and what you can anticipate as we head into September.